And there it is, folks. You cannot trade because there is a problem with your Pokemon. <sighs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Not, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. Alrighty guys, so what I wanted to do for just a second here is we've talked about legal Pokemon, we've talked about real Pokemon, hacked Pokemon, uh, legitimate, illegitimate, we've kind of discussed all those things and how to find out if a Pokemon falls into one of those categories. But, honestly, if Nintendo was doing what they should be doing correctly, we really shouldn't have to do any of those things, right? Nintendo should be able to honestly figure this out on their own, right? So I want to take a moment and talk about the Nintendo hack check filter um, and why it's not good enough, right? Why it's bad, why it's not good enough for ranked battles, why it's not good enough for tournaments, and even transferring stuff in between Pokemon Go and Home, right? So to demonstrate why this filter is so broken, I'm going to show you guys this filter blocking a real Pokemon and letting through a super hacked Pokemon, right? All right, so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to Let's go Pikachu. All right, so here we are in Let's Go Pikachu. Got the adorable little Pikachu running around there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in. Um, I'm going to grab a Pokemon. I'm going to move it over to Sword and Shield and then show you guys basically what the problem is with this hack check filter. All right, so let, let's jump in. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys really quickly uh, my game, my adventure, uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea that, yes, I'm going to be transferring a real Pokemon over from Let's Go Pikachu. So let's go ahead and continue my adventure. Man, it's been, I feel like it's been so long since I've played this. Wow, my, I'm in the middle of the Pokemon League. Check that out. Okay, so I've got my shiny slow bro. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys really quickly here what, uh, what Pokemon we're going to be transferring. So I'm going to go over to Pokemon Box. Now I've got my, my super cool team of super cool Pokemon, but the Pokemon that I care about right now is going to be this Golbat right here, right? So really cool Golbat, I caught shiny Golbat, original trainer me, nature modest, uh, caught at the Seafoam Islands at level 45, and it is impetuous and silly, right? Really cool little Pokemon. What I want to do is I want to take this Golbat, move it over to Pokemon Sword and Shield, and show you guys kind of what the problem is with the game right now and uh, why Nintendo needs to get their things together. Okay, so now that we've seen our Golbat, uh, let's move him out of the party because maybe that matters. I, I guess he's actually, he's already moved out of the party, so that's perfect. All right, so let's jump out of this. And what we're gonna do next is uh, we'll go just go ahead and save and close out even though we didn't do anything. Uh, so what we're gonna do next is we're actually going to jump on over to Pokemon Bank. Uh, I guess it's called Pokemon Home now, but it, it's really all the same thing. So we're gonna jump over to Pokemon Home and uh, we are going to find out uh, what happens if we take this Golbat and move it over into Pokemon Home. So we're going to take this Golbat here. And let's just go ahead and move him over to, in this case, we can just go over to, I guess, Home Box 33. It doesn't really matter where he's at as long as we know where he's at. All right, perfect. So there's our Golbat. Um, just has some, some basic moves, Sludge Bomb, Air Slash, stuff like that. So what we're going to do is leave him there. And that's really all we're here to do. So we're going to go ahead and quit out after that and save changes and exit. <laughs> Eventually. Cool. Boxes have been updated. So let's take uh, take this one step further now that we have figured out where our goal bet's supposed to be. Uh, and let's jump over to Pokemon uh, Sword now. and Sorry, Pokemon Shield. And let's go ahead and move the Pokemon over to Pokemon Shield. To do that... I'm going to need to drop in my Pokemon Shield game, so give me just one second, guys. Okay, so we're back in Pokemon Home. I went ahead and plugged in Pokemon Shield now, put in the cartridge. So let's go ahead and let's take our Golbat, and we're going to move him over now from Pokemon Home into Pokemon Shield. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Sure, we'll connect to the game. And here he is. So we'll just go ahead and take this Golbat. And we're just going to move him over here into box one. Easy peasy. All right, so let's jump out of this now and jump over to Pokemon Sword and Shield. All right, we are back and we are loading up now Pokemon Shield. So let's go ahead and take a look at our Golbat. And again, let's just see. We we, we have a real Golbat from, from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. 
Let's make sure everything's okay with it now in Pokemon Shield. All right, so now that we're here, let's go ahead and open up our box and go grab the Golbat that we moved over from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. All right, so I'm gonna go in my box here and let's go ahead and grab that Golbat right here in box one. All right, so let's take a look. Same, so, you know, everything should look exactly the same and we're gonna move him over to the slot one in the party. Um, and everything looks looks fine, right? So let's take a look. We got our awesome shiny gold bat here. And let's take a look. So we have the little symbol that said he came over from a Let's Go game, which is kind of that, that fun little symbol there at the bottom with the, the little Pikachu Eevee symbol. Uh, all right, and then we've got the same nature. Everything looks good, all the same moves. Perfect, modest. Seems to have traveled all the way across time and space from the Kanto region. Perfect, impetuous and silly. All right, everything looks good. Looks like a perfectly normal gold bat from a... Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. All right. And yeah, totally integrates with the game fine. Nothing nothing about it looks wrong. And honestly, a really cool sprite for having a Pokemon that can follow you, right? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take this gold bat and we're going to we're going to see if it'll trade, right? So the very first thing to test when when trying to see if a Pokemon is legitimate, a good way to test the Nintendo hack filters is you can either take the Pokemon, try and join into a ranked battle, or you can take the Pokemon and try and trade it, right? And if it allows you to trade it, or if it allows you to take into a ranked Pokemon battle, it means that the Pokemon is not hacked, right? It means Nintendo, at least Nintendo, has decided that the Pokemon is not hacked, right? And again, what we're going to see, and what we've already kind of seen in the past, is Nintendo's hack filters, they're not very good, right? They check for only super, super obvious things. So Nintendo hack filters, they're going to check if the Pokemon has the wrong ability, has wrong moves that it can't have. Like, for example, if this Golbat new Blast Burn or something like that, it'll check for those things. But it doesn't check for everything that it should, right? It doesn't check if it's very obviously hacked, if it, if it came from situations that don't make sense. If none of what I'm saying right now does make sense, make sure to go check out my, uh, my hacked Pokemon video where we explain all this in detail. And uh, apparently we got attacked by a Kingler, so that could be better. All right. Hey, look at that. Golbat is a square shiny. Okay, so what we're going to do then, guys, is we're going to try and trade this Golbat and just see what happens, right? We're going to see if it makes it through the trade filters, which, again, I fully expect that it will because it's a 100% real Golbat. All right, so we'll be right back. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and do a link trade now to, to basically prove that our Golbat, as it is right now, can make it through the Nintendo hack filter. So I'm going to go ahead and set a link code, and I'm going to go ahead and trade with one of my buddies here. Alright, code is set. Yep, sure would. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and trade our Golbat. Um, just to prove, again, that it can indeed make it through the trade sensors, right? The trade filters. So we'll give this just a moment to search for the code. All right, it's found our trade partner. Perfect. All right. So we're going to go ahead and select our goal bat here and say trade it. All right. Do you want to trade your goal bat for uh, your trading partner's sub to let's not? I love it. Totally not a plug. But yep. Totally fine. So let's go ahead and trade it again, just to prove that it can be traded. So let's see what happens. All right. Going through the full, you know, wonderful communications. Um, so as long as we don't get a pop-up error here, like what we saw with the Spectrier, it means that we have passed the filters and our goal bat is legitimate to Nintendo, which is good, right? This is a real goal bat, right? We'll see why this doesn't quite work out the way that we might think in a little bit. But what I'm going to have uh, Randy here do, which is the name of my, my buddy that we're trading with, is I'm going to have him trade me back the gold bat, and then I'm going to show you guys where, where the system starts to break down a little bit. So let's go ahead and just reinitiate this trade here. We'll trade sub to let's not back over to Randy, grab our gold bat, and do something really quick with it. Okay, so we're back in the game. We have our gold bat. Let's go ahead and add it back to our party. And then we're going to do something that, you know, a normal player would probably do with a Golbat. Evolve it, right? Crobat's not a terrible Pokemon. Learn some cool moves. It's got stuff like Tailwind, Roost, you know, Defog. It can learn some really cool stuff. So let's take our Golbat here and just evolve it. For those of you who may recall, Golbat uh, evolves using the, the wonderful... <laughs> The wonderful friendship mechanic. So the easiest way to kind of brute force your way through the friendship mechanic, if, if you guys aren't aware of, is to just feed it a ton of items, right? This is actually the best way to evolve anything with friendship. 
But if you tr feed it enough items, you can actually max out the friendship of a Pokemon. So I'm just going to keep feeding it here with um, XP candies in this case to see how many we need to hit to kind of max out that friendship. You know, I'm not actually sure what the number is, but this thing's definitely going to level up quite a bit. Perfect. All right. Golbat is now evolving. So we will have a shiny Crobat and then I'll be able to, to kind of give you guys an idea about what I was talking about. And also, don't you guys just love the friendship mechanic? <laughs> All right, there he is, the legend himself, shiny Crobat. Perfect. Looks great. Not really, probably one of the lamer shinies, but that's okay. And apparently this is our first time registering Crobat, so get on in here, buddy. Perfect. Exactly what I want to see. Wants to learn the move Frost Poison. I'm going to go ahead and apparently forget an old move because I clicked the wrong button. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of this, actually. I'm not going to worry about Cross Poison for now. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take this Crobat, and we are going to try and trade it back again to Randy. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So now that we've got our Gold Bat all nice and evolved, let's go ahead and trade him back over now to Randy. Again, still a legitimate Pokemon. Literally, the only thing is that has changed is that I have evolved now my Gold Bat into a Crobat. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit trade it. Communicating. Please stand by. Perfect. And there it is, folks. You cannot trade because there is a problem with your Pokemon. <sighs> so there you have it, everybody. My 100% real goal bat. We saw that he was real, right? We traded him over to another player, made it through Nintendo's hack filters. Literally... The only thing that I changed on this Golbat is that I evolved it to a Crobat. This is a totally normal thing, right? A person getting one of their Pokemon and choosing to evolve it. But that was enough to break Nintendo's hack filter. Like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Nintendo, you need to have a better filter. Just by, by simply evolving my Golbat, I was able to break Nintendo's hack filter. It was that easy for me to do. And this isn't just going to be an issue with uh, Golbat, right? Any Pokemon from either Pokemon Go, Pokemon Yellow, um, like the one that they redid, like Virtual Console one, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, any Pokemon that can evolve uh, in a later game will completely break Nintendo's trade filter. So definitely an issue, guys. Now, just to show you guys how broken this is, Let's go ahead and demonstrate um, what happens when, when I take a super hacked Pokemon. We'll use that same example from before, right? We'll use our, our super hacked um, Zapdos and we'll trade that over. Here it is. Perfect. So let's go ahead and take our super hacked shiny Zapdos with six IVs, every single ribbon in the game. Again, in case you guys didn't see my last video, let me show you guys just how hacked the Zapdos is. It's OT is how fake am I? Holding a Master Ball, which again, if you ever see a Pokemon holding a Master Ball, it's probably a fake. And it's got every single ribbon and every single mark in the game. So let's go ahead and trade this, right? A Pokemon that's clearly not hacked over to our buddy Randy here. All right, perfect. So he's got, again, that same Zora. So let's see if this Pokemon, which is very clearly hacked, can trade. Because, I mean, clearly our real Crobat was too hacked for Nintendo's trade filters. So let's try something that's uh, a little less obvious. <laughs> it's again, it's uh, let's let's try the most hacked thing you've ever seen. All right, so we're communicating. Let's see if we get that same message that says we can't trade over Zapdos. Sure enough, the 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 hacked shiny Zapdos with every mark and ribbon in the game, uh, holding a Master Ball with an OT of how fake am I, was able to trade over just fine. All right, guys, so that'll wrap up this video. Again, Nintendo, this is this is my, my plea to you guys. Please, please, please fix your guys' hack filter. This is, I mean, frankly, it's embarrassing, right? We saw it not only accept a very, very fake Pokemon, but we also saw it block a perfectly legitimate Pokemon, right? A perfectly legitimate Golbat. I even proved it was legitimate just because I evolved it, right? So clearly, guys, there's there's an issue with the hacked filter Nintendo. They need to do better. Hacked Pokemon are rampant. We see stuff like Machamps.com everywhere now, right? All these hacked website Pokemon, and it's becoming a super huge issue. There's even been accusations for for uh, players taking hacked Pokemon and cheating, and in, in the Players Cup and the World's, uh, and you know the the World Cup, all these different competitions. Nintendo, 
you guys can do better. If you guys would like my help, Nintendo, I am more than happy to help you guys in determining whether or not a Pokemon is hacked so we can build better sensors and better filters together. But uh, yeah, guys, that'll be it for this video. Hopefully this helped and uh, let me know which video you guys want to see next. All right, guys, I will see you next time and uh, have a good day. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.